Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today we're going to make the larger sized card, which is the A5. And we'll use the base and a box to put the card in. We're going to create the front of the card with the designer card front. And this is the half scallop. So these are the dies that will come in the sets and I've added mine to a, a magnetic sheet. That way I won't lose any of the smaller pieces that are in the set. So let's create the box and the card base first. We'll just do the die cutting. So for the box you're going to need two pieces of this in the colour of your choice. Then for the card we're going to take the largest of the um, dies and this is the one with the stitched edge and we're going to cut two pieces the same then you need a small strip so this is about half an inch wide and i folded it in half and that's going to fit just along the top edge of the back part of the card I'm going to glue that in place and then we're going to add glue along here and we're going to add the front in and that will give us a card then that is folded at the top that will stand in tent fold. But it will give us the whole side of the card to play with. So pop your card on one side and this is now going to stand in tent fold. Now from this die you're going to cut two pieces in white and two pieces in blue. Now with the white ones, you're going to take this inner piece and you're going to lay it on the die, on the, the die cut that you've just done and you're going to run that through your die cutting machine and that will cut that pattern into the card. Now for these, you're going to trim off this piece here because this is going to line this one. Now you need to trim the blue one off so that it doesn't interfere with that fold line there. And then once you've glued it in place, you can fold that back and that will give you the panel that will sit on your card. And you're going to do that with the two of them. So once you have these glued in place, you're going to take this small one and you're going to cut a panel in blue and that will sit on the in the oval there. And then you're going to take this long one and cut two strips and I'll show you where they're going to go as soon as we've done this. So once we've got these glued in place, keep your card closed. This is how it opens. Keep it closed and put this around the back. Now you might think, well, she's just closed the card together, but I haven't because once this gatefold opens, this card will then open up this way. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to close that in. So we've added these in place, the card opens. Now I'm going to line the inside of this card with some blue. So I've taken this die down and I've cut myself a panel that goes in there. Now because I made a bit of a mistake here, I've got some rough edges. So I've cut an extra one of these and I'm going to add that over the top and that will hide that mistake there but the other two are going on the back just to line up that side piece and make it nice and neat so this is where we're up to so far we've lined the inside now if you wanted to finish off any more of these edges nice and neatly you can always cut some more of these little strips and add them wherever you need to tidy those edges and to finish the front or to tidy the front I've also created another panel that will sit on there so now we can get to decorate this card as much as we like so using the sentiment and the other twirly little bits from both sets I've cut flowers flourishes leaves and I've added these to my card. So I've decorated the inside. Now just to make this close a little bit different, I've taken this long thin strip from the box and I've cut it six times. I've glued four together there and I'm going to glue the other two onto here. And that will give it extra strength 
across the front of the card and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So what I'm going to do is glue this to just one side of the front. So I'm going to glue it along there. But before I do that, I'm going to add the flowers to the top and some leaves. So we'll see how we like these and we'll just add these flowers and leaves in. So you'll have to be careful how you glue them because you only want to glue them onto that little strip that's going to span the card. So there it is added to the card. I've only glued it to one side. There's the front of the card and I've also decorated the inside. Now that card will stand in tent fold for you and the side panels will sit along there. But when you put it in the box it will look like this. So let's make the box now to put this card in. So for the fold in type box I've removed the top part and I'm going to take these flaps off the bottom. And now we can start to fold all these side pieces in. Now if you wanted to add some decoration to the front of your box, now is the time to do it because this is now where you can add in your trellis work to your box. So we'll add that in along there and we'll tape it in place and then it won't move. And I'll come back to you when I've cut this. So once I've cut this piece I can remove the die and now I need to line this with some acetate. So this is the right side, put the right side facing down and then with some red liner tape or some glue or some strong double sided tape you're going to fasten this acetate in place. So now with the wrong sides facing you and the acetate in place I'm just going to add some glue. What is the back and add it to that panel. Press it in place and then if you fold the box over you can see whether or not it's level and straight on this edge. So open it up again and add your glue to this piece. And then fold this piece over and add that to that strip. So keep the, the front of your box towards you and push the flaps down, the side flaps, push them down. What is the back of the box? Fold in and add your glue. And then what is the front of the box? You're going to fold over and make sure that that's in place. Now once that's stuck, you can fold these two flaps down and tuck that in. And that will close your box now ready to decorate to match your card. So I'm going to use what I've got left of the flowers and the leaves to decorate the front of so this box. So there we have a beautiful card and its box and the items that I've used to create the card base and the box are the A5 complete box kit. To decorate the front of the card I've used the designer card fronts and I've used the half scallop. I've used a mixture of flowers and leaves and sentiments from both the sets to complete my look. And there it is ready to send. So I hope you so enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one. And why not subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell then you'll always be aware when I add a video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.